Good day and welcome to our explanation of how to set up payments in Microsoft Bookings. Microsoft Bookings will process money through a service called Stripe and will also take it uh, through PayPal. Now there are a number of uh, hurdles to get through, none of which are too challenging, with the exception of the country. Currently, uh, payments are available in Canada, the US and Mexico only. It will be broadened out to the rest of the globe shortly. Uh, Microsoft has been saying coming soon and uh, referring to soon being a few months uh, for quite a few months now and people in Australia and the UK in EU in particular are getting upset about it. But the fact is it's not available right now. So if you're in one of those jurisdictions, payments simply will not work for you. Now we're going to run through uh, setting up uh, uh, bookings from scratch uh, and uh, we'll uh, then show you how to do payments. It's going to be quite fast. We have another video on how to use bookings and uh, that's a separate uh, it's a separate issue in this case we just want to show you how to get bookings turned on and how to get payments set up so first thing you want to do is go to your portal so you go to portal.office.com and click the nine dot in the top left hand corner and go to your admin page so this assumes that you're an administrator then the next thing you want to do is go to uh, settings and go to services and add-ins and you should see bookings here. Uh, then what you need to do is make sure that bookings is turned on and enable online payments is turned on. Now we're gonna go through this next, uh, the setup uh, portion quite quickly. So you can rewind the video if you need to because this is not the core function of this video. The core function of this video is to get payments working. So now this is off by default. So most people are gonna to need to turn this on. So take note of that. Now. Uh, if uh, you go into your, your users and you find a particular user uh, does not have a bookings option available, uh, and I'm going to show you that. Okay, so uh, bookings used to be listed under Office 365, but it's been moved. It's now under Business Apps Free, and I'm going to show you this in case, and we're going to go over this a little bit more detail in case you don't have that. So what you need to do is expand Business Apps Free and you need to turn it on for the user in question. Now, if you're missing this section here, what you need to do is go to your billings and purchase services. And you need to make sure that you're in this classic view, not in the new view. So if it says, um, if it doesn't say, if it says anything other than try the preview in the top right hand corner, you're going to need to get out of there. What you need to do is uh, scroll through here until you find bookings. So I already have bookings, so I can't add it, but it's free. So all you do is click on it, add it. Uh, you say you're going to pay. It asks for a credit card. You don't have to give it a credit card. You can also say uh, use a PO, uh, but it's zero dollars, so it just goes through. It takes about an hour to process, and you're on your way. And then when you go back to your, your users, you will see Instead of being bookings, as I said, you will see uh, our friend business apps here. And business apps is where bookings is. So that is the rough back end that you need to get set up. And then uh, once you have bookings enabled uh, through the uh, portal like this, you can simply go to bookings.office.com. That will get you signed in and you'll see payments are showing up in the bottom left, which means that payments is A, enabled and B, available in my territory. And you click on payments and it, uh, you can read through this, but what it boils down to is you've got some setup to do. So set up and manage your merchant account. Really, before you get through that, I need to go to the business information module, which is just this one here. But I'll click this link over here just for fun. Okay, so the business address is 255th Street, Southwest, Calgary. There we go. That's lovely. My business. And if you don't have that completed, uh, what will happen is uh, you can click set up and manage your merchant account all day long and nothing will happen. No error message, no pop up, nothing. Very annoying. So um, make sure you uh, make sure you click the link, go to your business information. Uh, then when you go back to payments, once all of these fields and all of them are required, including the terms and the privacy, uh, what you need to do is go to payments and then click set up and manage your merchant account. And you can see that that text at the bottom here is now gone. And that will take us off to a service provider. And as I said earlier, that's Stripe or our friend, Mr. PayPal. So I'm going to go to my PayPal account and it will prompt for my information. I'm going to grade this out so you can't or hide it so you can't see it, but there we go. And then it's going to tell me uh, it's looking for a password, which I will enter. 
And then it's going to tell me that even though I have an upgraded user account, uh, instead of having just a basic user account with PayPal, I have a premier account, still not good enough. I need to have a business account with PayPal. Okay, so this is uh, PayPal's business account. And there used to be three types, there are now two, standard and pro. And uh, you can see here what this includes, but basically uh, it's the same as a standard account. That's a 2.9% uh, for the uh, uh, basic, uh, for the standard account, I should say. Uh, and really the only difference uh, that for most people is this. Uh, when you use uh, the paid service, you can tie it directly into your website. It doesn't, they do not have to get kicked over to the uh, PayPal website. Um, um, this is also a nice feature, being able to take payments by phone. Uh, but regardless, uh, for most people, uh, the standard uh, free account is uh, sufficient. So in my case, I do not want to upgrade my uh, account to a uh, business account, so I'm not going to do that, but if I did, I would simply click upgrade and it will ask for some core information. And at that point, I have to check the box to confirm that uh, I've read everything that PayPal uh, is interested in and I need to give uh, Microsoft uh, permission as well. And then you just simply click agree and continue. And uh, at that point, uh, we will, it will flow through and you'll be able to finish off setting up your uh, payments with uh, bookings. That's it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.